Metaphysical School of Poetry The term metaphysical has been in use to describe the special characteristics of the poetry of John Donne and his followers in the 17th century. John Dryden first used the term metaphysical in connection to the poetry of John Donne and the same was confirmed by Dr. Samuel Johnson. Literally, meta means beyond and physics means physical nature. Meta is a prefix to the Greeks. It was used after Aristotle's work on physics. Now, it is a term generally applied to a group of 17th century poets like John Donne, George Herbert, Henry Vaughan, Thomas Carew, John Cleveland, and Richard Crashaw. The term implies a process of dry reasoning, a speculation about the nature of universe, the problems of life and death etc. It is much concentrated with emotion and personal experiences. R.G. Cox observes that it communicates a unified experience and stresses imaginative presence and intensity. According to Pro H. J. C. Grierson it lays stress on the right things. It was because of the poet's intellectual ability to see at the objects. Characteristics of Metaphysical School of Poetry Love for novel thought and expression The metaphysical poets were men of high learning. They wanted to show their class and ability. Though their thoughts were often new, they were not natural. Dunn's poetry is remarkable for its concentrated passion, rational approach and romantic power. Nature and art are violently used together. For example, in one of his poems, Dunn says changed love are but changed sorts of meat. The metaphysical approach was always analytical while doing so. The metaphysical poets broke every image into fragments. The metaphysical poets, in the words of Dr. Samuel Johnson, desired to say what they hoped had been never said before. They wanted to maintain singularity in their thought. They were careless of diction. On the other hand, they created the poetic diction of their own. They took delight in novel thought and equally novel way of expression. Thus, they played with the thought. It is observed that both matter and manner were entirely new. Bennett points out, the word metaphysical refers to style rather than subject matter. We can say that metaphysical poetry was a kind of revolt against the Elizabethan poetry. The metaphysical poets used words that have no associative value. Therefore, the intellectual base had affected form and rhythm. It was a revolt against established conventions. They were seeking for originality and newness along with new words. Far-fetched imagery The poetry of John Donne may be called metaphysical only as far as its style is concerned. He insisted on passion, sharp sentiments to be expressed through wit. Though, such poets have liking for paradox, at some times there is abrupt opening or strange utterance. For example, John Donne says for God's sake hold thy tongue, and let me love. They had greater liking for intellectual comparison than the comparisons traditionally accepted in poetry. The lover and beloved are compared to, two ends of the compass. There is separation is brought out by way of parallel lines. Obscurity and Learning Helen Gardner says the characteristics of metaphysical poetry is its concentration. Metaphysical poetry appears more complex and difficult because varied images and concepts are brought together. The common readers of poetry love splendid, decorative and moving images in connection to the subject of love, but John Donne uses, spider love. Therefore, it appears very intellectual and witty and it shocks the readers also. There is dissection of delicate emotion. It has also argumentative tone. Thus, natural grace is very hard to be found in metaphysical poetry. Owing to these things, we can see artificiality of thought and expression in their poetry. A common reader would not give positive response because the meaning of the poem is beyond his understanding. As a result, it was stamped difficult and obscure. So it could not become popular in those days. Hyperbole and Affectation 
The metaphysical poets also had the liking for expressing their thoughts by using hyperbolic expression and metaphysical conceit. They had the tendency to join two dissimilar things together and they stretched the idea to the fullest. They were also fond of making use of the words from different streams of knowledge, science, geometry, physics, astrology etc. It made their poetry interesting but at the same time, such hyperbolic expressions and affectation also marred the interest of readers for it demanded scholarship and learning on the part of the readers. T.S. Eliot was the first to appreciate and enjoy the beauty and significance of poetry of John Donne. In modern times, metaphysical poets have profound influence on the course of English poetry. The readers enjoy metaphysical poetry more because they can understand the meaning of images. Please, subscribe Literature Guide.